Hey kids, here's your host, Pete McTee. Hi everybody! Hi, good morning! Thank you, welcome to Pete McTee's Clubhouse. We're gonna have lots of fun today, and in our studio audience, we have Brownie Troop 1023 from Edders. Give yourself a big round of applause. Yay! Now let's clap real loud for Captain Cool. Come on out, Captain! Oh. Hi, Captain Cool. Uh, how are you, Pete? Oh, I'm just peachy keen. How about you? Oh, hunky dory. Yeah, and cool. Hey. <laughs> Cool hair and hey. cool sunglasses and everything. That's why they call me Captain, Captain cool. cool. And what's the cool word today? The cool word today, Pete, is bright ideas. Bright ideas. Mm -hmm. Like, what's a bright idea? It's a real bright idea, Pete, that if we have our lights on in like our bedroom or the living room and yeah. we're not going to be in our room, yeah. turn the light off. That's a good idea. And then you save energy. Mm -hmm. And when it's really hot outside, we can put up our windows and keep the blinds down to keep from the sun from coming in so we don't have to run our air conditioner that's quite as often. That's a good idea, and that saves energy. It sure does. And another really good idea is to use like cloth napkins instead oh. of paper ones. So then oh, that yes. wastes a lot less too. Yeah, if you use paper napkins, you have to throw it in the trash and then that fills up the landfills. And if we're using paper towels and they're not too dirty, we can let them dry out and then use them over again. Lots of cool ideas, Captain Cool. Well, again, Pete, that's yeah. why they call me Captain, Captain cool. cool. Hey, get your camera. And I'll be back. Okay, and we'll be back with more fun. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back to Pete McTee's Clubhouse. We're having a good time today in the clubhouse and we have a great group of brownies over there in our studio audience and there they look. Look, smile girls. Look at all those pretty smiley faces there. Yeah. Well, later on in the show, you know, we're going to have uh, Professor Noodles here and Sammy Joe, but right now it's time to wake up my dog Wembley. Let's go see if Wembley's awake, okay? Wembley! There you are. Good morning, Wembley. Are you hungry? Come here, Wembley. Here, boy. Are you hungry? Here. Sit. Is that a no, do you think? Huh? Wembley, sit. Okay, now, speak. Uh, let's hear for Wembley. Yeah! And this is my computer, Scooter. Hi, Scooter. Hi, P Hi Pete. You know, he's the smartest computer in the whole wide world. Yes, he is. Come on in. Hi, Pete. Hi, Sammy Joe. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing great today. What do you have there, a bat? Yeah, a wiffle ball bat. A wiffle ball bat. Yeah, is that a real it. light? It's, oh, it's real it's light. It's real light. Yeah, it's not like a, a real baseball bat. No. It's a wiffle ball bat. That's right. And what are those? Two wiffle balls, two different sizes oh, here. That looks like a softball, and that looks like a baseball. Right. Uh, oh, who's oh, that? No. Come on in, Professor. Hi, Hi Professor. What are you doing? Well, here we've got a wiffle ball game going here, and I brought my wiffle club. That's a golf club, you goofball. Well, no, you never played wiffle ball with me then, did you? No. Well, Sammy Joe, that you shouldn't play wiffle ball with a golf club, should you? No, well, you shouldn't. I think not. you can get hurt. Well, Pete, you know, you could probably get hurt sitting down reading a newspaper if you really tried hard enough, but boy, yeah. oh boy, I, we could really get this game going good. What Professor. You, what, oh, oh, put, oh, I guess she's got the regulation she has a re stuff. <laughs> yeah, put that on the golf club. So, Sammy Joe, is wiffle ball a really cool thing uh, if you want to get exercise? It sure is, Pete, and it's really a lot of fun, too, because you don't need gloves to catch the ball because yeah. the balls are real light. And they don't hurt if they hit you in the head, do they, Professor? Let's or, try well, it. Try one. <laughs> <laughs> Did that hurt, Professor? Well, I don't know, Pete. I, I need something to draw, you know, some kind of a, a comparison yeah. to. I'll try a, okay, a baseball. Okay, go ahead, okay, go ahead. <laughs> well, Pete, Did I, that I, hurt? I can safely say that yes, that hurt. It does hurt, yes, Sammy Joe. No, no, it didn't. Whiffling is fun. Did you know that's a, that is an ancient sport of whiffling? It goes way, 
way back, way back into the time of the family. Well, I like to eat Whiffles for breakfast no, with syrup. It. Well, yeah, but that's with strawberries on them, too. Yeah, yeah. they're good, too, but aren't are they? Are you sure those aren't waffles, Pete? Oh, waffles. waffles. No wonder the bat got waffles. all slippery. I get that mixed up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're whiffling. Right. You don't put syrup on these. No, oh, okay. no, not at all, Pete. Okay, so can you pitch it, and what, should I hit it? Well, you have to be careful in the clubhouse because you're still swinging at bat. Even oh. though it's light, you have to still make sure. You know, so, it's something you want to play outside. But if you're just practicing, make sure you have a clear oh, space. Yeah. Mom and Dad Professor, should give you be permission. careful. Watch Pete now. Professor, you can. <laughs> uh, well, no, wait. If I watch Pete, then you I can't. can see the <laughs> wiffle ball. No, you can't. Well, I... Now, are you a right-handed wiffle ball player? Well, I whiff. I whiff right-handed. Yes. Oh, okay. I whiff. Now, some now whifflers are sometimes the left-handed people are whifflers. Yeah. Are yeah. you right or left-handed whiffler? Blur. Whiffler. I'm Trust right. Me, whiffler. You're a righty. Okay. Righty. Okay. Well, now this coming. Is this like a big? Is this for like small people to play? And big this is play? the original wiffle ball, oh. the smaller version, but it's a lot mm. harder to hit than the bigger ball here. So if you can practice with the big ball first, and then you get really good, oh. then you can hit the small ball. But why do wiffle balls have holes in them, Sammy Joe? Oh! Do you put Kool-Aid in there? Oh, 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 what? Oh, 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 I know, I know. What? I know, what? I know. What? Well, the, <laughs> the wiffle ball was designed to be a fun game because this, see how these were aer aerodynamically cut into the ball? It interrupts the airflow. Now, the airflow would normally pass over the ball in a spherical motion. Hello? Anyway, they cut the holes in here. Oh, I okay, fell now, asleep there for a and minute. And that's Professor. how they, that's why the holes are in the wiffle yeah. ball. Anyway, that helps the ball curve and Okay, and thanks, drop. Professor. I didn't ask you. <laughs> he thinks it's science again, Is that again, right? Is Pete. it right, Sammy? Sort of right? Whatever or? he says, Pete. Okay. Whatever yeah, I he like says. Sammy, you know, <laughs> I like wiffle balls because they make that sound when you throw it. And what's yeah. the sound? It goes, and that is a derived sound from the word whiffle. Whiffle, it blows when it goes when it goes past you. Really? Uh -huh. And also, when you swing and miss, yeah. <laughs> which you is most of the time, you the... whiff at the whiffle ball. Oh. That's so, right. Let's throw a, a pitch over to the Professor. Okay. 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 Be careful, Professor. Now, wait a minute, Professor. I'll be the umpire. Okay. All right. And I'll be back Have there. your hands okay. ready. <laughs> okay. Can Time I... out. Can I... Your hair's too too ugly to play wiffle ball. You're well, out of the out of the game. I'm not out of the game. I'm You're out of the game. How can I? How can I? Goofy. How can I? Be out of the game? Your hair's all goofy. Oh no, Pete, you, you can have goofy hair to play. Because if you can be, cool you can have you? goofy hair to hump. You can have goofy hair to hit. Now get back there. Well, get okay. Back there. Okay, here we we're go. out of time. Okay, give me a shot. Well, hurry up. We'll get one pitch okay. in here, Sammy. Oh, oh, that hurt. Careful, Boy. careful. Yeah, okay, go. Strike one! That's a whiff! <laughs> That's a whiff. That's a whiff. Okay, okay. I got, I, I'm Well, we're going to practice. Give me another And one we'll here. be back with more fun. Don't go away. The bat's here, warped. Here's Sammy Joe. Sammy Joe. Don't let your feet move from your seat because Pete McTee's Clubhouse will be back in a heartbeat. <laughs> Professor Noodles, and welcome back to Pete McTee's Clubhouse. You'll notice something a little bit different about uh, this time of the show. Uh, <laughs> the clown's not here. I sent him to the store. <laughs> but look who we have. Look what we have set up in front of us. Uh, we have goodies, and the goodies are courtesy of... The USA Rice Council, and this yes. this is Mitzi DeWolf from the USA Rice Council. I don't know what's going on. Professor, good. Professor, but, hi. I got the bowl in the thingy thing. Uh, why, Pete, what oh. are you doing here? This looks great. Hi, Mitzi. <laughs> Hi. How Good are you? you? Well, fine. I thought I was going to miss you. You were oh, at the grocery I, store. Yeah. Why'd you well, send me to the well, grocery store when well, you already had stuff, Professor? Well, well it was... I just kind of, like... I, well, I ran it all myself, Pete. It was, okay. That's it. That's it. I was, it looks well, really good. Well, what should I do with this? I'll take this. Okay. okay. I'll take this. All right. Whew. Well, Mitzi's here because she's going to tell us all about rice because rice is a cool food, right, Mitzi? It's a very cool food and it's very good for us. I brought the food pyramid to show us that we should eat six to eleven servings of complex carbohydrates a day, and rice is one of those foods. Wait a minute! Really? Wait a minute! You say it's 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 a cool food? It's a cool food. And it's, a hot it's food. good for us. 
good yeah. for us at the same so time. Where, yes. Like, where is it here on the food pyramid? Okay. Where on the look? food pyramid, it's at the very bottom of the of the pyramid, right. and that's where that's the biggest down category. Down down right down, right down there, you can see yeah. that big arrow pointing right to the rice. Oh, and we yeah. need to have about six to eleven servings, especially when you're young and on the go. You need to have those complex carbohydrates. A lot of young people eat too much sugar, and oh. it gives you fast energy, but it disappears very quickly. If you eat those complex carbohydrates, you, you get a professor. lot of energy. Settle down. Settle down. <laughs> and this is what happens. Bitsy, do they make rice donuts? Well, I imagine they do. They make just about everything. They have rice oh. flour, so He's they drooling, can probably. Bitsy. He's drooling. Donuts. Careful now, Pete. Well, I can eat six to eight donuts a day. Well, that would not count. That's too that much doesn't sugar, count. Huh? Well, too much yeah, sugar. That is a too little much. bit okay. too much, right. I'm afraid. Yeah. Well, tell us what we have here on the table, Mitzi. Well, I brought a lot of different snacks using rice. We usually think of rice as just that food like this, which is. Um, yeah. Just a separate oh, a yeah, steamed rice Bowie. or yeah. some type of a um, some type of a dish on our plate. But rice comes in a lot of different sizes and shapes and colors. And here are some different examples of rice products you can find in the grocery store that are good for you and taste mm. good at the same time. Yes. And these are good ways to get in those complex carbohydrates like rice cakes. And then we have a rice trail mix, which I'm going to be <gasps> talking about and show oh, everybody how to we're make. We're going to make some what? rice trail mix. Rice tra mm. Nice trail mix. No, no, rice, rice. Oh. It's nice. Yeah, it is. It's okay. nice. It's rice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. And then just some other products You're which are brand new. You know that, I know, huh? I know. Boy, I'm boy. confusing Okay, what do we everyone. have? What do we have way over here? Okay. These are a brand new thing? product. They're a rice crackle or a, some type of a, a puffed rice recipe oh. or I should say not, snack. They're, they're not like pork rinds or anything like that. No, they're no. not. They do look a little bit like that, Boy. but these are good options because a lot of they're snacks out there for, for kids are high in fat and we do need to yes. watch our fat even if we're young because it's important after the age of two that you stay under 30 percent of your calories coming from fat, so that's not very much. Yeah, wow. that's true. So you got to start early. You have watching, to start early. Diet. Okay, to eat what, right. uh -huh. what do we have here? in this plate right here. These are breakfast bars. They're made from a crispy rice cereal and they have some carob in them and also some oatmeal. These are a little higher in fat so you'd want to be careful, careful and not yeah. eat too many of those, sure. But they'd be a good alternative to some of the higher fat donuts like you yeah. mentioned earlier and right. things like that. He, yeah, he, lives, fun. he lives for donuts. Let's really see, are these uh, rice pogs? <laughs> yeah, they are pogs. Huh? That's a slammer. They're, yeah, they yeah, look those a are lot slammers. like it, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, they're rice cakes, caramel rice cakes. But oh, I guess they could act they could as a slammers. double. You could use them as a pog, yeah. I suppose. And that's a way you can eat your toys. <laughs> yes. oh, see? You, it's not I'll, often I'll that you can that do that. I'll get to that later. So right. Yeah. Okay. Well, now I recognize these. Uh, right. There's M and M's and and raisins and uh, these look like uh, nuts, nuts, peanuts, nuts. peanuts. Uh -huh. and this is some this kind is of a, a wheat, a, a, wheat rice, uh, oh, wheat and wheat rice, rice cereal. Uh -huh. And so we're just, uh, if you don't mind, I'll just get yeah, started putting this together. Yeah, let's make some of this. be food. We don't mind. All oh, right, like not at all. Well, anybody can make this at home, and you can put all of your favorites in here. You don't have to use the ones I've chosen. You can use bananas or uh, banana can chips you, that you can, can find. Can you use Brussels sprouts? Brussels sprouts, oh, sprouts would not add a lot to this. They'd oh, add a lot of vitamins, but they'd taste terrible. Yeah. So we're going to yeah. put three cups of, co of cereal now, now in here. the Brussels sprouts council might have heard you say that. They might well, not yes, I, I hope I haven't are offended these rice, anyone. Are rice checks that you have These are, yes. These, okay. are, these are actually a, a cereal made with two different types, rice and corn at the same oh, time. Okay. And then we're going to add the nuts to this. Can I do this? You can. Can yes, I dump throw something in there too? Please, by all means. It's terrific what you add. You I'll have put to add a measured amount to be mixed thoroughly in the in the. What can I put in there? You can, can I put do? the chocolate candy in or the raisins. Okay, Maybe let's the, do these m &Ms. You're going to opt for the chocolate candy. Yes, here we go. And okay. if Professor Noodle wants to throw in the uh, raisins. Oh, I love raisins. The good oh, for fun. you food. Oh, man. Okay, we'll be finished up. Raisins in there. Professor yeah, loves raisins. The raisin, oh, months ago was a was a succulent grape on the vine, and then it dried Hard to believe, up, and now it's it? laying in yeah. a dish somewhere. But Put it oh, in, Professor. It's All laying right. in a rice trail mix now. There you go. So this is better. This is looking awfully good. All right. This is basically done. You can put in the rest of these ingredients and you will have a, a big bowl of this rice trail mix. You can put it in lunch boxes. You can take, you can put I it in a canister. In. You can, sure. Okay. You can give this to your friends in little jars at Christmas time if you're trying to make a lot of presents for people. So it's really a, a good recipe and it's good for you. That's the best part. As long as you don't put too much of the chocolate well, candy I, I, in. Too much of the chocolate candy in, Pete. That's a cue not to put too much I'll of the chocolate candy in. in. Candy. And our bowl is getting a little small now. But and this what is, happens if you drop that in? No, that's not part of the trail mix. That's it, not it, good. No, no, no it's, it's not, not digested. No, <laughs> these are meant to be stacked one oh, at a time I on see. top of each other. Gotcha. Hey. Okay. Yes. Gotcha. Now, okay. you know, 
I, I was studying a little bit about Rice myself, Pete. Did you know that? No. Did you go to Rice University? Mm, well, Pete, I don't want to brag. That's I went a real to, university. I went to the, I went to the uh, high QU over here. Oh, over that's here. right. That's right. And, you know, Rice is in itself is a marketable product, and it's not just something that's found overseas, is it? No, it isn't. In fact, we grow a How lot of rice in the huh? That was very good. <laughs> we grow a lot of rice in the United States. We grow about 18 billion pounds of rice. That's a lot. And that's a, I that's thought a all the rice amount. came from the, the eastern countries. Most people think it comes from Asia, yeah. uh, Japan, China, a lot of different countries, but it doesn't. In fact, 90% of the rice on the grocery store shelves is U.S. grown rice. We grow it in Arkansas, California, Louisiana, Texas, Mississippi, wow. and Missouri. And what's the what vitamins are in rice? Well, rice has complex carbohydrates, which I talked yeah. about earlier. They give you that energy. It also has protein, vitamin E. It has uh, calcium and iron. That's, all, so, that's good stuff. Well, see, you know, yeah, it really does. In studying rice, though, you know, you can buy this this minute rice and things like that. From yeah. This, and but I, Professor Noodles, have found a way to even beat the minute rice. How can you do that, well, Professor? I was able to show. It's a sp excuse well, me. Well, let's sure. look at this, Mitzi. Special, special hybrid rice. I've got rice. to learn this. Okay. okay. You take, like, leave, leave, leave well enough alone, Professor. That's right, Scooter. You tell me. Easy on me, buddy. Easy. Okay. Now, okay, here we go. normally you take a little bit of rice. Okay. Yeah. And Okay, is that about enough? What do you that's think? That's only about oh. 10 kernels. That's, that's about enough, huh? Lot. That's, that's not, not a lot. That's not a huh? lot, no. But you know, with the special hybrid rice, special hybrid rice, you too can just take and you put your, put it over there, okay? okay. Now, it's in there. Do you it's have to its... put it on the stove, Professor? No, not at all. Not at all. It's in okay. there. You're, it's doing its thing and Whoa, I think it's about done. Happened. I think it's about done. There it is. Look oh at my that. goodness. Oh my Hybrid word. rice ready to eat. Look Professor, at that. how'd you get so it's much perfect. rice when you only put in just a few of the little ricey things? See, every once in a while, the professor is able to come up with the proper way. Five kernels? What do you think, Mitzi? Yield. That's a pretty good way. I think there's money in this. Uh -huh. sure. We'll yeah. talk about this <laughs> afterwards, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, That's I think great. maybe we can I can hear the can Rice have... Council calling me now. Yeah, that was a good one, Professor. I like that. I like that. Well, we want to thank Mitzi DeWolf from the USA Rice Council for visiting the clubhouse and teaching us about rice and also this cool recipe. So why don't we let the kids in the audience taste this good stuff? That'd be great. I'll put some in these cups, and I thank you for having me. All right. Oh, hey, fun. kids, Anytime. let's hear it for Mitzi. Yeah. <laughs> And we'll be back with more. Don't go away. You're watching Pete McTee's Clubhouse. The views expressed by the professor do not necessarily represent those of management. Welcome back to Pete McTee's Clubhouse. Step inside and join the fun. Today, my book of the week is called The Midnight Circus. Right outside a young boy's house set an awesome pony ride. The boy loved to put a coin into the slide and climb up onto the horse's saddle for a ride. One day, the pony is taken away in a truck. It is replaced by a shiny new rocket ship. But the little boy is sad, and the rocket ship just isn't the same. In tears, the boy runs after the truck, but it's no use. That night, the boy wakes up to the sound of children running past his house. He decides to run and catch up with the kids. Unfortunately, they're too fast. They climb onto the train, leaving the little child behind. He is left standing alone on the platform when all of a sudden he hears the sounds clippity-clop from a horse's hooves. It's his beloved pony. The child climbs onto the saddle and off they go, down the silent streets and across dark fields. They're going off to the Midnight Circus. To find out about the Midnight Circus, head on over to your local library and check out the picture book, The Midnight Circus. Oh, that's such a cool book. I love books about circuses because I, I like, do you like to go to the circus? My mom and dad worked in the circus for many, many years, yeah. And this book is written by Peter Collington. And remember, come on in, remember boys and girls to stop at your local library and read books so you can learn about a circus or many things, uh, you know, here in the big world. Uh, Professor, what do you have there? Oh, that's the food pyramid. Are donuts in there anywhere? Da, 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 
Oh, hi, babe. Hi, babe. hi. I was looking for a donut. Oh, uh, those are bagels. I was talking to Mitzi back in, on the back porch there, and you know, yeah. Pete, uh, this is really neat. You know, the way the, the food pyramid is set up, but yeah. see, the largest portions that you should be having, the, the good stuff occupies the larger portions, you know? Right. And as you get farther up the food pyramid, the stuff that you should have just in moderations. Yeah, like is, candy is or jammed up cake into or this French little, fries and stuff like that. jammed up into the little top part up here. Okay, you know? Professor. That's cool. I like here, that. Let me, okay, let me. Okay, you uh, that. Yeah. And you know, Pete, I was, I was looking here. Uh, excuse me while I eat. What are you eating? Oh, you're eating one of those rice pogs. Uh, well, well, they're called rice, miniature rice cakes, I we think. We professional rice farmers, which <laughs> I'm going to be someday. Yes. I'm going to give up that chicken ranch thing. I'm going to be a <laughs> rice farmer. And you know, uh, Pete, uh, they make excellent snacks. And you know, they're so good, you don't even think that you're not eating something, you know, that's sweet and not good for you. It's something yes, that's really it's good. Actually, it tastes good, and it's good for you. That's right. And oh, look at this, look hey, at this, look at this. What's that? It's all about rice. Oh, there's some more recipes there's, for Mitzi. Oh, recipes. We call them recipes. Rice recipes, yes. Oh, it's, they're like a recipe for rice. So, oh, it's a recipe. So it's a recipe. Mm -hmm. That's right. Professor, that thing you did was really cool when you put in just a few little kernels of rice and then bam, you had a billion of them. Did it go bam or did it just go whoosh? I think it went bam. You know how much how much rice it would take if you put it on the highway from, from here all the way to like, uh, like France? Well, first of all, Pete, the, the highway to France it was closed. It was closed down. Oh, but if you put it like from here to California? Okay, now that's open. Yeah, it would take like it billions would take a, of, lot. a lot of rice. But yeah. you know, maybe I could work on that. But Pete, I, I love the way this stuff. It's all so symmetrical in its shape. It's kind Professor, of oblong. Look at that. We're kind of out of time now. We don't want to talk rice, about and it's, science. It's, it's a geometric shape. We'll see you next right week here. on Pete McTee's Clubhouse. But, Bye, everybody. Ah! I know, Professor. Anyway, it's I know. It's Look, symmetrical. It's Goodbye, Pete. Goodbye, kid. I know. Hi, Scooter. It's got the kids on the desk. The professor has rice here.